such that you intersect uh, multiples of the translation, so Tn, T2n, those sets intersect non-trivial. And so from here, we've got, you can see, that we have this arithmetic regression. So we have A in here and A plus N, where T is some kind of shift operator. Same thing here. So here we have, let's see, X, B, mu, T. Uh, mu is the measure here. B is the measurable steps. So is a probability measure preserving system, uh, then uh, for any measurable set with positive measure, we have a very similar statement. Uh, in ergodic theory, they like to shift backwards, but you can see that they're very similar. Um, in here is Furstenberg's correspondence theorem, which corresponds um, measure and upper density. So that's how these two are related. And so, lastly, you have uh, the stone check compactification. plus. So this is algebraic, except the space is labeled beta z. Uh, P in beta z satisfies this condition. The empty set is not in it. So P is actually a probably easiest way to think about this is a chain of subsets. So the points are chains of subsets. So empty set's not in it. If A is in it and B is a superset, then B is in it. Uh, a and B in it implies this. So we have these, these are called filters right now. So this defines a filter. And then if in addition, we have the um, property that if we partition or we color with a finite number of colors, R colors, if that we have a sub j is in P for some j. That's called an optic filter. From this, we can get a um, definition of, or a way to approach Van der Derden's theorem, which says something like there exists a um, Item potent P. Uh, this is under addition. Uh, such that <coughs> if we have P as this is inside the compactification K fold, we have K fold. Thing. We have an item potent in there where this is near um, yeah. let me write it like this. This is 
set. So A is the set of arithmetic progressions. A bar is the closure, and we're talking about in beta Z. Um, so if you go through the theory, there's something that says that beta Z is actually the closure of the natural numbers in some sense. So that's where this comes from. And you go through this whole thing, and the algebra of stone check compactification, the number of colors in any proof you look at is irrelevant. So if, if it works for two, it works for R, the same argument. So you're not going to get there that way, because all you have is that it works for two. In the topological case, in some sense, you're saying that you can get elements less than, say, a half. You can get it that close. But what you need to say is you need to get it as close as possible. So the two large says, if, it's, if you can always get within a half, can you get as close as possible? That seems like another problem here. So the stone check won't work. That doesn't work. So what the stone check is nice for is defining degrees of largeness. So we've got everything except the large and the large star, which is a dual, um, is due to Bergson and Heinemann. The star means that it intersects every type of that set. So large star is a set that intersects every large set. What we do have, which I'm going to be talking about syndetic, uh, which is there, is that the set of gaps is IP star. IP is uh, if you have any infinite sequence and you take any finite sum from it, the set of finite sums is IP. So IP star means that it intersects every type of set like that. We should probably stop the questions. Okay, so then we go. <coughs> There's gonna be no questions because I got no, no questions. <laughs> we should probably stop. There's type of recur recurrence. So you can see how things are related. In particular, topology doesn't imply measurable. It's a difficult one. K anastomotic is Every syndetic set, syndetic means that there's a finite distance between any two consecutive, so there's groups, kind of. If every syndetic set admits a DAP, the two large conjectures are true. And so I have some results on syndetic sets that say that probably the main one is if you have an R large set and every syndetic set um, admits arbitrarily large DAPs, then it's R plus one large. So that's the first result that says something about going from R to R plus one in colors. And then I have some other, other things. The upshot of this talk is this machinery, this difficult machinery, doesn't look like it's going to work. It looks like you need to do combinatorics, which is what we're here for, not some other heavy machinery, which may work, but actually the stone check compactification, probably not, because this is actually difficult to prove. And that it's probably going to be done with synthetic sets. So you need some kind of structure on the colorings, since you don't have any on the sets. Now I have one minute. <laughs> Uh, now I know it. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Thank you.